Hello everyone and welcome back to Fablehaven Age of Wonders. For the Lord of the Sacred Land, Anubis, and all Duat, mourns the loss of Ra, the God of the Sun, the King of Gods. But there is more work to be done. We are besieged by Terran Gorfin's forces. He didn't get the memo that we don't like him and would like him to stay away. But uh, alas, he continues to pillage the new city of Sinopolis. And we have just repelled Wepwawet from Lycopolis. Look how close we are. I actually didn't realize we were that close. And the desert necropolis, while kind of recovering, is still in grave danger. Much to do as fast as possible. This is a high-risk battle. Oh, okay. We'll be right there, then. I wonder if this will pull in. So we need to basically build as big of an army as possible. As swiftly as possible. And if we can do that, we'll buy Golly G. I don't actually think this will pull in. Oh. Alright, this is low risk. Let's see what happens. Now this... Okay. This army is coming from... Is it Lurja? One of the city that is directly inside of that foul rift. Tyrants and chargers and mistresses who were nerfed, by the way. The Umbral Mistress has now a one-turn insanity instead of a three-turn insanity. And by now, I mean, you know, patch 1.3. So it's new, but it's not new, new. I don't believe we will be receiving a patch... Um, until the new content is announced? Probably. I think they're done trying to fix the Mystic Company. It's not broken. Too bad. I should have Mending Touch to Anubis. Big F. But uh, next turn we just Mana Channel. Mana Unchained. And uh, it's work. Oh no. The Baneful Curse. Whatever shall I do? Use my new favorite spell. <laughs> Speaking of my new favorite spell, we really need to get working on those souls. And I'm a little concerned by how they don't want to come at me. Come at me, bruh. Got places to be, people to slay. Demons to slaughter. I just mending touched myself. Mm. Awkward. That's fine. We all do that every now and again, you know? It's a perfectly normal human thing. Most of the time. Okay. Come at me. Okay, got the Enchain. And then with the Morale Bomb, okay. Fair enough. Strength has been removed. The Banshees are in trouble, but that's what the Banshees are there for. Ooh, the Wrath of the Faithful. Pretty good. Looking pretty spicy. A day will soon come. When the umbral demons shall bow. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do this. Uh, this only hits enemies, right? Yes, perfect. Triple kill. And this is the corrupt soul that's gonna go stand here. Now, the umbral mistress has tied them up, although they have been. Mucho debuffed. Oh, wait, I can do this. Duh. Target cannot be affected. I, oh, I can throw one. It take like six days off and this is what happens. I feel like I should probably just favorite this. I think this will break the enchain. It did. Nice. Fantastic. 
Yeah, I've learned my lesson. Um, this is a great ability. I had a really... For whatever reason, when I first encountered Soul Overflow, I was like, hmm, this isn't a great ability. I don't like it. But I have learned the error of my ways. Similar to how side of the mistress is being. Rude. We'll go here and defend our peoples. And I guess we'll just stab this. That 15 healing is nice. We'll do fine, right? No need to go crazy here. It might be a good idea to try and find a... Should I spur this? Maybe. Yeah, I might as well get a kill. Um, oh, I forgot about you, Mr. Bone Daddy. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, try and acquire a more potent archer. That might be in our interests here. Although it doesn't really synergize too well. With the tone path I've chosen. We'll have to backtrack for it if we want it. There are two tier 3 archers. The Zephyr Archer, which I think was used in the previous playthrough, and the Forest Glade Archer. Oh, there's the insanity. That's gonna hurt. Which the... The Archer of the Glade could be a good shout. Yeah. Okay. Bitch. Because then we can pick up the, um... Hmm. Pick up the Tome of Decay. Now, I don't have to kill this. But it is in my way. Am I being tied up by it? I am. Alright, let's get rid of it. Wow. Why do no damage? Why damage no do? Mission mark? I think I can kill this with something else. Possibly. Conceivably. Yikes. Guess not. That does open him up for a flank from the Umbral Tyrant, but... And these Undead Mages are absolutely slapping. Alright, let's go defend. Now we have two Decaying Zombies. Will they be the distraction that they were born to be? Why did that do Spirit Damage? Yes, they will be. Fantastic. Marvelous. Wunderbar. Now, there is something I would like to do. Of course. It is our destiny. The entire point of the series. <laughs> to... Really? My disappointment is immeasurable. To destroy the Umbral Demons. That is why we are here. And that might be the thing... We might be able to destroy the first one today. We'll see. I have my eyes on a particular one. Far, far away. Oh, I'm not in range. Is that not healing you? Because we can use that to obtain a Void Stone, which will make it so we can walk through the Umbral Abyss unimpeded. Or at the very least, not taking damage from it. I'm not sure if it's actually unimpeded. Well, this is painful, but um, 
It's alright. Our knight proved why they're the best. Farewell, Chaplain. We can get some bone daddies. We want a bone daddy? Not particularly. So this city over here, Severha, which actually came at us, I don't think is something we want to pursue immediately unless there's a void stone here and I can't see it. In which case, nice. But this city over here has a void stone directly adjacent to it. So if we can get a void stone, get an item forge, we can start making the immunity to umbral malady stuff. Although I do need to break this. <laughs> do we believe? Do we just go? I need to keep healing first. Hmm. I think we hold. We want to go back towards the top in case Wepwawet returns. And this will position us to counteract Terran when the time comes. For this stack... Where do I even begin? We, of course, want to destroy the Haunted Graveyard, and I probably should do that, like, now. In fact, we're going to summon a fish for that. I believe the Undead Worm Bone Wyvern will benefit from being in her stack. So we'll let the Lightfish lead this, or the Warlock, whatever's actually happening here. The only true threat here is the Bone Dragon. Unfortunately, we have really trash spears, and the AI loves to kill. <sighs> the Chaplains. The Lightfish. Chaplains, Lightfish, same thing. Okay. I think the most important thing is that we get in position and prepare for the Soul Overflow that will give us the damage that we demand. Uh, this could be bad. Positioning here could be questionable. That's all right. We all make questionable decisions from time to time. Some of us more than others. Okay. 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 Apparently, the AI is not the only one who gets the soulfish killed. The lightfish killed. Alright. Well, I was going to soul overflow this deck. But I think I have to soul overflow this one. So we'll try to take most of it. Yikes. Definitely want the archers to shoot that. And I want you to charge. And I believe you can teleport, so... Go here. Overflow the crap out of this. Convert. 59%. Do I tank it, or do I just shoot? Yellow. Fifth. Now, a lesson I have learned... Is... We have to kill the Necromancers. Now, I know that it is fantastic, incredible, marvelous to slay the Bone Daddy, the Bone Dragon, as swiftly as possible. But unfortunately, if we do that, it'll just get back up. Unless I stand on top of it. That's something I forgot. Well then, let's stand on top of it. Do you think it'll be this or this that does more? Probably you. Then you kill it. I don't know why I forgot about standing on things. You stand on it. Next turn, the bone dragon, excuse me, the bone daddy, the real one, will devour it. And then we can play the video game. Isn't that great? Everyone loves playing the video game. Now, unfortunately, um, the Lightfish might still be dead. We'll see how this all pans out. Okay, great. And it was... Okay. 
That got so much worse than I thought it could. I don't play with the Necromancers, so I often forget what they're capable of. That's okay. Get a kill. Get a kill. Bone Dragon. Why can you not eat that? Do I have to move off of it before I can eat it? There we go. You can't resurrect it if there's nothing to resurrect. Pro tip. Such is the domain of gods. I.e. us. I think I just do this. Overwhelming tactics isn't bad. The downside is that it's not on a bunch of our skeletons. Because they're not ours. They're somebody else's. Kaboom. Okay. The lightfish didn't get to do lightfish things today, but... It's quite alright. I was going to be a little upset if the Necromancer resurrected another Necromancer there. Just a little bit. Maybe I should play with Necromancers. I don't know. I'm just annoyed that there's support that can't heal, you know? I mean, I guess if we made our own, we could do a little bit of healing with Mending Touch, but... Alright, we're going to spend our souls here to get some mages. I'm super proud of their performance. Ooh. The Ring of Escape. Slip away. The wand of vines in the helm of the warrior. I love the helm of the warrior. Be perfect for you. I don't have a mount for you. Who should escape? Can I double equip this? I cannot. Sure. Why not? Our item forge is going to be very busy. Alright, so we have slain that which was pursuing us. We have a bunch of skeletons. Coming in at rank 1. I wonder what's influencing that. This is probably going to attack me. Maybe we just stay here and see what happens. The mountain necropolis is big mad. Why? Why? I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> a lot of times, things get big mad. I guess we need to build... I need to build so much. Things get big mad until we hit tier 4. Uh, because then they gain stability per population. And that goes a long way into stabilizing things. I need a soul well. I need a pyre shrine. I need growth. I need production. I need... Need, need, need. Astral Dew has been acquired. Nice. Need a Rainbow Clover and a Fire Forge Stone. Anyone of you got that? Strength, Lord of the Sacred Land. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. We have some remains. Garbage. Another ruler was denounced. Let it be known that Terran has crossed me. Don't care, you're dead. Actually, hmm. Be great if I could kill him now, but I don't think I can. Vassalage. I was complimented. Strength. May the fields be flooded with the blood of your enemies. That's not really what I'm going for. Are you here to peruse the vastness of my empire? Are you here to trade or to merely gaze upon my grand empire? Yes. Province is being pillaged. Oh no. Also, the Toll of Seasons is going to uh, the Elector Countess. But you know. Sucks to suck? I guess? 
Now, I have never seen the AI finish the Toll of Seasons. Every time, for whatever reason, they just let them go. Like, they'll defend their territory. They'll pull back, kill the, the attacking Scourge, but then they don't pursue them. And inevitably, it will come after me, and then I have to kill them again. Whippowet is moving into Blint's domain. Blinty boy, where is your army? Oh. Oh. Oh, I was right. There's a lot of owing going. What the f Okay, game. Look, I know I have no room to talk. I also got the lightfish killed. But the lightfish is an expensive and important part of our strategy. I probably should not have... S okay. There is a plan here. I wouldn't call it a good one, though. So, the... I think the reason the bone... Uh, the lightfish keep dying is because the bone dragons have a blighting breath and the lightfish being celestials are weak to blight the rest of my army being undead is not in fact it's quite resilient to, to it so I think that's what's happening here I'm not certain it seems like a reasonable conclusion to me. So in short, if we pull the lightfish to the back... Excuse me. Okay. Everything should be fine. Punish for playing fast. We're out of souls. Panic. Their breath surely can't reach the fish. Hey, unfortunately, I don't have soul overflow to remove all this poison disease garbage, but you know what I do have? A pissed off skeleton polearm. <laughs> Ugh, talk dirty to me. Now, I could spur this, but I don't think I have to. So you charge this one. You charge this one. Now there's no retaliating. Nobody retaliates. Kaboom. Hmm. I noticed a slight problem. I was kind of relying on my spur in order to do things, but I can't spur something that I've killed. 90%. Boom. Is this a worthy... Oh, no, it's mercenary. For a second, I thought he had a worthy soul on his side. And that would have been awkward. It's kind of important that I kill at least one of these, because they're going to double tail swipe me, and I'm going to feel... really depressed. Big shots coming in. Can I freeze? That'd be fat. Very nice. You know what makes this even better? This dragon is an undead, which is a fair and balanced archetype. Unlike, what just done? Oh, the, okay. Unlike, my rant got interrupted back in my confusion. Unlike the umbral demons, which are a certified imbalanced archetype with curse eater. Now, to be fair, Curse Eater is a fun, not fun, unique, and incredibly powerful incentive driving ability, or passive. But the problem is that it just completely invalidates I don't want a mercenary. Wait, is this part of the Countess's culture? Maybe I will just to say I did. Uh, it completely invalidates a lot of strategies. Until you get to the point where you can overwhelm with debuffs. Do you think I should save Sinopolis or I should go... Oh my... Hmm. Well... 
I I'm sure if the ma the desert necropolis could survive for as long as it did being on fire, I'm sure Sinopolis will fare just even better. I'm sure everything will be fine. I want Pyre Templars. Okay. I think what we need to do... <laughs> Workers Guild. We need to build this, and then we need to go into the Smithing Guild. Which would be quite difficult, because I don't even have an armory. There. I built a quarry on a pasture. Hmm. There's a part of me that dislikes that. Okay. I wouldn't mind having this. We're about to expand as well. Huh? Maybe I try it? It's usually not a good idea to do this without multiple heroes, but... We'll see what we can do. This army isn't bad. And it's not like I have better units. Alright, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> this could end very poorly. Hex Nemesis approaches the Pilgrim's Passage. Fading, unreadable words are emblazoned across the first footstone. Hex sees a crumbling statue at the far end of the temple, depicting an ancient, unknown Gordia. Before she can progress further, a golden dragon appears, followed by a booming voice. You walk. In divine halls of a god here long lost, is your lord of the sacred land to be its new patron. Prove he is worthy through this trial. Confess and prove your lord of the sacred land is worthy of our devotion. Ex Nemesis Zari looks at her, curious how she will respond. Is this supposed to check? Tell me how hard of a check this is. None are free of sin, but I aim to be better. Oh, it's not a check. It's just a thing. Interesting. Okay. I have a feeling this victory comes down to how the fish performs. Yeah. This could be bad. This could be really bad. I have one soul overflow in me. Um, I will. I think the golden fish needs to mind control the pyre templar. I think that's the only way we win. We also can try and corner camp a little bit. Corner camping is always enjoyable. Now, unlike with the Bone Dragon, the Lightfish is actually resilient to radiant damage from the Golden Dragon's breath, and my units are not. Fortunately, hmm. okay, this is going to appear strange, but trust the process. We're going to shatter the resistance of this thing, and I'm gonna YOLO a 39. It feels like it didn't go up at all. Come on. Yes! Alrighty. We're in. We're so in. Ninety percent. Okay. All right, big choices, big decisions, big brain. We have to spur. This is a a no no brainer question. I think we send the bone wyvern here to tie this up. Then we probably have the archer be spurred. So the archer from here has an 85% chance to shoot. 
from here. It's a 100%. I think we take that. Is there a summon? Nah, we just rip it. If this spur was on a skeleton mage, I think it would be more effective. Which is uh, certainly a sentence. <laughs> Do what this is. We got the Gortusk Matriarch, all right? I think what we do is we get a flank here to draw the Pyre Templar towards the exposed rear of the boar. We're gonna hit a we're gonna get breaths, I think. Unless it can't be cast in zone of control. Ooh. My goodness. Alright. That's fine. Bait was unsuccessful. I repeat, the bait was unsuccessful. You are a chaplain. I think we just kill what we can. Did we go here for a charge? That's a fat charge. Tyrant Knight putting in work. This is a kill. This is a celestial entity, so it is weak to frost, I believe. Uh, We definitely shoot this. That might not have been the play, actually. We want to charge this to break its um, retaliation. Do we have any tricksy spell? This will be quite inf weak to necrotize, I think. And then we can kill with you. Now, as far as I'm aware... Ooh, if I go here, it's going to be a beautiful swing on this. Okay, here's what we do. The Bone Daddy gets a charge on this. And we shoot this guy. Then the Bone Wyvern gets on... Oh, I thought I broke his retaliation. Okay, the Bone Wyvern's dead. That's fine. Wow, okay. The Bone Wyvern is very dead. All right. Fair enough. The Tyrant Knight is going to get a charge on this. Oh, it's turned away from me. Oh. Okay, fine. We can go for a freeze here. 39%. Fucking nailed it. Now see, if this was a... If this was an Umbral Demon, he would eat this, and I would be sad. Is there a corpse to eat here? I think I'm going to take this. We take that every day. Beautiful strike. How about you? I only have one shot here. I think we're going to focus on this thing. Because it is uber weak to disease. Most of the stuff is resilient to the wrath of the faithful. But how about necrotize? Still whatever. All right, there. You do you. I must have turned around and hit this. Can I kill at 90%? I can. Another one bites the dust. I am a little concerned. Because I think the Tyrant Knight's about to expire. Alright. Please don't expire. There goes the matriarch. G. G team. Oh. I told you it was going to come down to the lightfish. 300 mana. If I can take that, that'd be pretty spicy. What did I lose? Forgot. We'll take a pull arm. Hex Nemesis has withstood the trials of the Pilgrim's Passage in your name. The halls are silent. As Hex Nemesis ventures further, a shimmering passes over a massive statue at the far end of the temple. 
When the light disappears, the statue has changed to show none other but you, Lord of the Sacred Land Anubis. The voice booms once more. You have proven yourself a worthy god, dear, O Lord of the Sacred Land. Henceforth, this temple will be dedicated to you and your divine word. The voice fades, and with it the original words of the temple, a silence falls, as if the temple waits for its new creed. So, we get 238 Imperium, which is a respectable amount of Imperium. Boy, would I like more. I'm not actually sure which one I think would best exemplify Anubis. I suppose it would be life through death. Because even though... Even though they're, everyone in Duat is dead and that's accepted, they continue to live on in an idealistic, you know, world. I think that's what we take, even though I'm going to be really sad about this minus 238 Imperium. I'll take it back. Divinity through Majesty. And my excuse is we need to make up for the lack of Ra. Ra has fallen. We must now be that divinity. That majesty. That greatness. I think I go miss on a call. Everywhere needs a pyre shrine. This is like a... That's something I need to build as soon as possible. That's okay, we'll get there. Alright, so... Are you a city? You are not a city. You are an infestation, like over here. I just have to build so many things. The domain of the death. Uh, desecrating structure is good. It costs a lot. I think I want that. We'll take this. The domain of death requires souls, of course. But it be known that Mordred has crossed me. Well, Blinty boy, you are pure evil. I see. You're on your villain arc. To be fair, many popes before you have been on their villain arc. Most of them during the time of the Holy Roman Empire, but that's all right. <laughs> Hence, the uh, the Holy Roman Empire is neither Holy Roman nor an empire. That's being dismissed. But this one, I would love take, my dear Mademoiselle. There we go. Reavers don't need mana. Perfect. Join me. So what are you? You are from the Lizard Tyrants. Okay. Cold-blooded, poison, tenacious. I believe those are just the default lizard traits. And you are part of the Dark Culture. Okay. Interesting. You have Legion of Zeal. Nice. As this is the highest tier unit and is not undead, it will be leading our stack over here. If it were undead, it'd be better suited in what's a face's army. Which is not the case. I hope Terran enjoys pillaging the his former lands. I'm kind of just gonna let him do that. <sighs> it hurts my soul to think about how many things I need. I basically just need to build a mole on a mastiff, huh? No, I feel like I've seen it all. Uh, I kind of just need to build mass production buildings and then get all of the SPIs that I need. <laughs> and then get to tier 4 and then build all the pyre wardens one could possibly desire. Go away! No, I don't want you. Where are you even from? There's another void zone over here. I think I know what that map is. 
Okay. I'm alarmed. We're getting another light fish. Okay, how far is this wet ball wet? He is. Hmm. How far can I get in here before I step on this? Because remember, the moment we step on the Umbral Malady, we begin to die. <laughs> and because this is freaking wet ball wet, I can't build roads. Wait. Oh, we're on it. Oh, mother. Hmm. Okay, well. Can't build roads here, I guess. Since I screwed up, we might as well just commit. We'll stand Anubis on this. That turned into a fire giant. Hmm. Probably should kill that. A pasture is pretty good, but we need to focus on the big, terrible things awaiting us. Huh? And there's a ritual circle down there, and you go touch the butt. Oh. Okay. That is a titan of earth. A titan! Okay. Fair enough. Are you building a unit? You should be. Chaplain's not... Bad. We currently don't have one. It also wouldn't hurt to get more archers, but... Alright. Sanopos has built the convent. Great! Uh, the Pyre Shrine wants to be built... Hmm. <laughs> Somewhere that's not on fire, which is... um. Not many places. I guess we'll just build a Pyre Templar. It'll become faithful eventually. Take another light finish. The light fish should do Weppo Wet has returns. Should do very well in the Umbral Abyss. Terran has crossed you. Fantastic. Yeah, I know he's not to be trusted. He's a dick. Blint has crossed you. Hmm. Rykarth has declared rivalry. Rykarth, I'm a little busy. I don't know if you've noticed. I think if we have to choose, we go with... Mordred? I mean, it's always funny to have Blint on my team, right? But Blint is pure evil right now. <laughs> he's, uh, he's crusading a little too hard. Whereas Mordred is pure good. Which is more our vibe. Could you stop stacking on top of this? What the fuck? Okay. Well. Oh, I do love it when the enemies evolve right in front of my face. Baron is Morda Moonwish. The Free City Olmach threatens you. Really? And where are you? Right. Of course. Alright, team. We march into the abyss. To defend our realm, our people, and our home. How long is it take me to get over here? Yikes. Try not stand on that. All right. You guys are going back here. So I don't... I There is a way to remove... There are two ways to remove the gloom. First of all, if gloom is coming... <laughs> uh, 
I'm gonna do this for the memes. Uh, if gloom is coming from a city or an infestation, then destroying the city or infestation will cause the gloom to recede. However, if the gloom is coming from a tentacle, a gateway like this one, I believe you have to use a transformation on it, like a, a terraforming spell. And I'm pretty sure, fairly certain, was this boosted? I don't remember. That. Oop. Ran. I'm fairly certain you have to use a terraforming spell, but there's only one type of terraforming hmm. that uh, that works. Imperial Essence is complete! I don't know where we got this rainbow clover, but we did! Nice! We're making 99 Imperium. you love to see it. Uh, this will finish off your stack. No. Into the stack you go. We have captured somebody. Now, I know it's evil, but if they say Umbral Thrall, we have to kill them. Eventually. Right now, they're funding my research. But eventually, they have to be killed. Right, Karth has crossed you. Don't care. We have more war parties coming. Negotiations have succeeded. I was complimented. Thank you. I was complimented. Thank you. I am here to gaze upon your empire. The Empire of Melm. It's so appropriate that she built the Reaver Manufactorum right next to her capital city. <laughs> you think befriending, little spring? I have to declare rivalry if he's declared rivalry. Otherwise, he's about to declare on me. Sinopolis is being pillaged to the dirt. Oh boy. You would think something that is literally the seat of the Anubis cult would not be so easily destroyed, but time comes for us all. I think what I need to do is we need to get some mana for desecrations. But I also need mana for crafting. But it's like, it's super important to me that we get um, a whole bunch of desecrations going. Because the desecrations will provide us with souls. There's not too many ways to get it passively. Um, desecration and soul wells are kind of like the way. <laughs> There's also soul collector, which I'm not running. Uh, which I could now. I don't think I've researched it though. No. Excuse me. I've never seen that one before. Um, soul collector... It's 30 gold for 10 souls. Where are you guys going? Oh. Don't know why I was surprised by that. Okay. Uh, losing two light fishes is quite unacceptable. We do have some really scary opponents, though, so... I don't blame them for losing two light fishes. But it is not something that can be tolerated. Show me the undead. It's another banshee. Over here. I think our spears are going to play a very important role into this. We have an awful lot of uh, large targets to beat down. Thankfully, when facing off against the Umbral Demons, they don't have too much magic. I think they... Do they just have the Dark Culture magic? That sounds right. Who knows? Alright. We're in a great big blob. You'll love to see it.
Okay. So far they haven't cast anything. I've acquired more Banshees. Banshees for the Banshee God, I guess. And you... I suppose we can have a Lightfish here. For the Mana Unchain. Then we want to keep blobbing. I was kind of hoping for a um, Thunderbird there. Usually not something I wish for, but... It has its moments, you know? As do all things. Alright. Let's go. Come at me. Don't you dare. Ow. Alright. I can break the Enchained here. I like how the uh, Living Fog is affected by the Umbral Melody, too. Alright. We have much work to do now. I think I'm teleporting in over here. One, two, yep. I think you're also just fine. A bunch of these... I don't think any of these glitterlings are real. All right, we're going to go for the convert. Nailed it. I can convert people too, you know. I can enchain my foes. Um, hmm. I do think the spears are going to play an important role. But I'm not sure if this is what I want. <laughs> oh, here we go. Never mind. It is. Break the retaliation. We get the spears in here to do spear things. Literally one tile away. Let's go, boosted spear boys. Oh. Now imagine if it was weakened beforehand. Imagine the greatness that could have been. I think I am not behind it, so we'll just slap. Of course, if I was behind it, I would have wanted to use the assassination. Assassin. Good hits. Now comes the very large question. Do you have spur? No. That wasn't the large question. Another Banshee? Okay. Uh, the large question was, do I run in with the knight? <laughs> Does the knight get involved here? I think the answer is yes. If I had another spur, we could spur the AoE here, but I do not. I think we just smack. It's also worth remembering... We have Mighty Meek. So we have quite a bit of damage potential. For the higher tier targets. Is it a kill? Oh. Uh -huh. Here we go. That's a kill. Beautiful. Magnifique. I suppose that makes me wonder if it would indeed be worth it. Eh, almost got it. Makes me wonder if it would be worth it to get a higher tier archer. Or maybe it's just, you know, just roll with the mighty meek. It's like rolling in the deeps, but with a, a holy buff. You know? I come almost breaking the splitterlings. Mm. 
there's a really good chance that this is fine. Like, if this attacks my mind-controlled night guard, I'm pretty happy. And or I can attack a skeleton. It's not that big of a deal. Alright, it went for the skeleton. Fair enough. No retaliation for you. This is gonna suck, but hey. Pop goes the splitterling. Boop. So the splitterling is broken. A beautiful attack from this. Was that buffed? Feels like it's putting in so much more work than I remember it ever doing. But hey, maybe I'm just properly using it for the first time in my life. That is entirely possible. I don't really want to stand in the exploding mushrooms. Not really. That wasn't on my, uh, my list of things to do today. I think I just should... I think I just saved the meadow, right? I don't need... To blast them. It's like I don't need to kill these, but here we are. Killing them anyway. Wow. One shot, one kill. If I've learned anything from the... This playthrough and the previous one... That support units are actually okay. If you actually build into them, support units will not disappoint you. Probably. 100% accuracy, nice. For 8 damage. Right, I think she's the first person getting a new bow. <laughs> a new weapon, I should say. Like, obviously, Anubis is not doing hot with his damage, but that's okay. He doesn't need to be. That's not Anubis's role, but it could be. I kind of wanted him to have a staff, you know? Because he's often depicted with one. He's also depicted with the dual Kopesh, which are not in the game, unfortunately. Your allies have all convened to honor your benevolent contribution to the realm. Guildmistress Drona Smoke Breath, Smoke Breath, excuse me, of Fold, leads the assembly. Gracious Lord of the Sacred Land, a singular purpose drives our gathering. Everyone here benefited from one of your favors, good deeds, or supportive acts. Indeed, some of us would have fallen to those serving evil had you been any less selfless and heroic. Your allies bow before you in unison. It is high time we express our appreciation, proclaims Drona. Choose whatever boon we can muster. Hmm. Three bastions? That's kind of insane. I can learn transmute resources. Or I can get almost 400 Imperium. This is a hard choice, actually. I mean, obviously the Imperium is the... the instantly good one. But I feel like... Bastions might be more fun. Although, are you... You are umbral fleshed. Maybe that's okay. Obviously, foul demons, naturally. But they wish to serve the realm. Actually, let's just take the, uh, let's just take transmute resources. So transmute resources is kind of something you have to set up. In my humble opinion. Uh, we are taking huge damage here. Mm 
Now, what Transmute Resources does is it converts all of your... The city that's making mana basically makes no more mana. And, um... 75% of that total mana is now converted into other resources. So, we can find a city with a lot of mana, build into it, and then uh, convert it for everything else. Oh boy. That's a game plan we can have in the near future. Probably wonder if I should just go bonk Lurja. Do we dare go for the double? This fish is so close to death. I don't know what the terrain here looks like. Maybe we can send in a scout. Oh yeah, the terrain is very inconvenient. Well... It's not the worst I've ever seen. Alright, let's do it. Surely nothing could go wrong. I told you, today we're here to hunt the abyss. Excuse me, was that Lightfish not taking Umbral Malady? Are you? No, it is. Hmm. Alright. We got the Bone Dragon reanimation, and it is time for our next tome. Now, this is something we have been working towards for some time. But, it's incomplete. And that is the Tome of Exaltation. Now, what do I mean by incomplete? We're here for the Shrine of Smiting. This is the end game faithful unit. However, this scales off of having faithful units. So, typically, you have the Angelis, the Angelic Transformation, which turns all of your cultural units into uh, faith, so faithful celestials. That combos with the Shrine of Smiting. But there's another way to do it, since we already have the Whiteborn, that I don't have quite yet. But let us exalt the worthy souls of Egypt. In the end, it shall be faith not flesh, that begets eternal glory. You shall usher in a kingdom of truth and enlightenment. Those who gaze upon your people shall know divinity in its absolute form, and the unworthy shall feel but the burning flame of your wrath. Thankfully, all my people are worthy. Now, the Temple of Exalted is actually kind of insane. <laughs> I didn't even remember this existed. City gains 20 stability and 10 mana. If the city has a governor, its governor bonus is doubled. I thought that was a feudal only thing. Anyway, we're here for the Shrine of Smiting. So that we can smite some fools. Um, and that's crazy. We have one of our, our heroes is a beloved governor. Which is going to be... Is that plus 60 city stability? My goodness gracious. My goodness gracious, great balls of fire. You ever just look at a list and go, hmm. <laughs> hmm. 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 You know? That's actually a really good spot for that. Perfect. Tier 4's in. And they're still pissed. This is going to be a really good spot for this. Over here. Somewhere. Sure. Lesiada Nemesis is leveled. Probably once unholy leader. Like obviously she wants to fight better, but all in due time. Anubis is level twelve. Uh, dark ritual could be really powerful. 
Visions of Woe could also be incredibly powerful. We used this in the um, previous playthrough, I think. What if we go... Hold on. If we go Visions of Woe, that'll bring us to 2 Astral. I mean, it, there's no difference right now. We would still need to get a tier... One tome to unlock tier three. We'll go visions. Maybe we can play it with that. Maybe something spicy will happen. Who knows? I don't. Uh, lightning evoker resistance. <laughs> Dominia, my archer who really is in desperate need of better archer stuff. Rivalry between Murazond and Mordred. Okay. Defensive pack between Murazond and Terran. We're probably going to kill Murazond. I hope everyone's ready for that. Druin has sent a war party. Ur has sent a war party. Runestar has sent a war party. I consider Paragon of Hashut, Rykarth the Unbreakable, to be my friend. It disappoints me that you would make an enemy of him. Why? Why? You are pure good, Mordred. Act like it. Okay, let's check our stones real right quick. So there are currently no neutral free cities in play. Uh, we just finished just a, a tomb tome, which should have buffed everyone's appreciation of us by quite a bit. Look at all these tier four vassals that I have. I have only tier four vassals. That's a flex. But what would I do without them? Probably going to need... I should be looking at this, actually. A risky battle. This will actually clear the city out. Oh, a pretty crushing defeat. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let's see if I can uh, flex my way into this. Now, part of the problem, I think, is that there are four Umbral Tyrants. Four of them. Now, fun a little uh, history fact. Mm -hmm. Not really history, more like behind the scenes. I think someone showed this, so it's I can I can talk about it. In the early version of the bill of the game, or the DLC, you could recruit the Umbral Tyrants through the Eldritch Pact, uh -huh. but um, they didn't. That was unintentional. But I, I believe it was Potato McWhiskey who did it. And he built a truly unholy legion of Umbral Tyrants. Because the Umbral Tyrants have a text that says, essentially, do more damage per Umbral Tyrant mark. And, well, if you have three stacks of them, that's a lot of Umbral Tyrant marks. So, you know, uh, completely unintentional. They're meant to not be acquired by any method. Which I think is... Okay. It makes sense to have opponents that you cannot acquire yourself. So it's this thing, the Umbral Oppression. Single magical attack on a uh, target unit. Deal 10% more damage per target with an Umbral Mark. And that's that. We have an Umbral Mistress coming this way. Alright. This map layout has made for some of some really epic and really annoying, like last stand holds. Because of this choke point and whatnot. Oh 
I kind of screwed up. Let's find the lightfish is here to take the buff. Okay. We'll just send in the Banshee. When in doubt, send in the Banshee. Guess we'll try and, like, hold like this, I guess? Hmm. Ooh, we need to get in, though. Mm. There's been some really epic last stands and some really unfortunate locking in a positioning. I hope these guys don't hit too hard. You and Shane the Banshee, okay? You and Shane the Bone Daddy. Is that eight tyrant marks? Okay. Fucking rude. Well, I'd have to worry about insanity. Holy shit. By the way, I should mention, this is for all the shmuppins. Um, if I win, the city is destroyed. If I lose, Anubis is destroyed. So this is kind of a big deal. Just a little bit of one. That was beautiful. And that's a kill. Um, I believe you are mind control loss immunity. You are. Who is not? This thing, technically. 66. Nailed it. Mm. Okay. I think that once again, our spears are going to play a very big role in this. I also believe that I should remove slow from them. Oh, you have command movements on. Uh, magic missile something. Eeny meeny miny mo. Okay. If I can block blockade this path, maybe we can do something spicy. I don't know, there's a lot of unknowns here. Probably should have done that first with the weakening. That is a pretty fat charge. If I can get up and around with this guy, that'd be nice. And definitely should have done that first if I was going to do it. I've never been very impressed by the Warlocks, but they do have a very good spell. That 3 AP thing is very spicy. Um, okay, we're going to play defensively on this side. Just move in for the block. Alright, what does the fish want to take now? I think I can control this guy. Possibly. So we're going to make that play. Anubis has a refresh. Is there a refresh we want to hit? There is. My brave, gallant knights. I think we want Visions of Woe on as many Umbral Tyrants as possible. We'll rip it here. This will guarantee a fumble for everything in this area. Incredible crits from Overwhelming Tactics. Let's see the damage. I'm kind of expecting... Fucking Curse Eater. I'm kind of expecting... Okay. Some big bombs to happen. 
our hero might die. Our hero is dead. Our hero died twice. <laughs> one shot, one kill. Okay. All right. The fish is going for it. The fish cannot go for it. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm surprised it's not a kill. Perfect. They gave us a zombie as well. Music is so quiet. But it's hyping me up. Uh, we will touch the fish. We definitely need to uh, heal here. Like, we need this section to just fully collapse. This living fog is going to be a bitch, too. Hmm. Maybe I... I want to overflow this so it's not insane, but insane is about to end. If I curse this... Oh, that's such a beautiful curse. But if I curse this... Should be a lot more damage, I think. We get rid of the living fog. I want the heal, but I want to kill as well. Okay. Okay. Anubis. Man, do I have a refresh? I don't think I do. If I had a spur, this would be a fat charge. We charge into him. Uh, spur, do the AoE. It'd be incredible. As it stands, I think what will just happen is he's going to die. Pull over channel. Because this is too good of a buff to pass up, I think. Let's go. Oh. Uh, actually, hold on. Some of the undead. So we have lost one brave champion. I was really hoping that would kill. Do I think this will? Yeah. They have lost two. We have a fat charge into the Umbral Tyrants, but then... Maybe we'll be okay? It's <laughs> a lot of uncertainty here. I'd rather not lose my legendary Dark Knight, but... Hey. Shit can happen, you know? I think what would be cool This game won't be able to spawn spiddlings, I don't think. Um I can do an inversion. I think the damage is worth it though. He spawned one, okay. Better than spawning three. We'll stand here and defend. Then this fish and I don't know. We could go for a convert on the splitterling. I that mm, okay. It switched back to the attack when I moved. You hate to see it. All right, what gets one shot? And they love controlling this. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah. Controlling this night guard. I mean, it's a good shout. It's a powerful unit. Oh no, the night guard's gonna body the knight. Okay. Did you resist? Oh, I think he resisted. Incredible. Is there something I can do here to help? I mean, I could nerf them. 
One Umbral Tyrant down. Uh, I can invert. I can heal. I have options. Get rid of you. Don't even bother. I think I am doing this though. Uh, sure. Oof. I hate to see it. I like how this tier one pursuer just does big damage as a splitterling. It's not worth shooting. Okay. This hero needs to die. Actually, this mistress needs to die. Oh, we are out of front line up here. The front line is gone. Perfect. I think I go for the heal here. On the knight. Ooh, he's blocked by decaying. Um. Okay. We don't go for the block. Oh, we don't go for that. Instead. Man, imagine if I had inversion remaining. I have never said those words in my life before. Imagine, though. I guess we just bless him. And move on. I think we'll hold with the spear. I don't want to run through all this gunk. And this guy will make more gunk. Run it down towards the boss. Alright, that's the turn. Let's see the damage. A beautiful graze. Another beautiful graze! How does an Umbral Tyrant have... Overwhelming tactics. Okay. So we're going to get a fat rear charge here. Uh, we're going to bring this guy around. Around town. And then our night guard is going to start doing things. And I think that guy is literally stuck. <laughs> I think he physically cannot do anything. I believe this can remove decay. Where do I want to be position wise? I don't want to be in the way. So we have removed decaying. Now we get a fat heal. Beautiful. Uh, let's try and kill this hero, I guess. I'm honestly not sure what's more valuable. Well, the hero's dead, so we're going with that. The enemy wavers. Um, do we pull back or do we pull forward? Pull forward a little bit. We can do some damage here. Quite a bit of damage here, actually. I bet this fish will die if I bring it in range. So you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna LOS it. There we go. Pretend like I'm playing WoW Arena again. Ump the pillars. Boom. Alrighty. Oh. That thing actually could have attacked the other one. So I don't think this one can do anything. In fact, it's running. The enemy! Please. Do, wait, do I have to kill? I don't think I have to kill it, right? Oh, dear. I can't remember. I think we're okay. I don't want the Umbral Taint to do shenanigans. We lost a lot. Kaboom. Oh, the first of the foul demons. 
We can't use that. Are you serious? Bone Dragon? <laughs> we can use that, though. The first of the foul demons has been felled. Alrighty. Um, this feels like a pretty difficult stack. No, no that's what I thought. <laughs> so, the Umbral Dwelling has been destroyed. Unfortunately, there's not like an actual siege for the Umbral Dwelling, so it's just if you destroy all of its... Um, all of the units under, it under its control, it will just win. That is the win con. All I do is win, 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 win. Nope. Yeah, wait, hold on. Go back. Um. Actually, it's okay. That's what we'll do. The Bone Dragon. This will be a nice, uh. Nice mana unchained back here. Mission Vault. Nice. So, in every city and every infestation in the Umbral Abyss has a Sanctuary Outpost underneath it. That's why we're building one right now. I think that was the, yep, that was the only one we could do. And uh, one of the main reasons to explore the Umbral Abyss is it has absolutely ridiculous fat riches just waiting to be taken. And uh, we're currently clearing out one of those. Okay. Yeah, I can see how it is. Hey team, do you want to breathe on this nice, beautiful blob we have back here? No, dog. I want to breathe on this fish. Ooh, this is so aggressive that I think I'm into it. So I charge there. I spur. Ah, that kind of sucks. That's okay. That's okay, you did your best. And you did too. Why are you still here? I haven't seen that meme in a hot minute. I think I just uh, shoot this. Good old mirror veil. Not too worried about it though. I want to make sure I move in front of the knight so that there's something to uh, take the blow for me. The positioning did not help the mages even a little bit. It's not like the mages needed help, right? Did I get a kill here? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Kaboom. Get the dragon here. Pull the archers in. Uh, actually, I'm going to pull the dragon here. Because if this bitch decides to go insane... Uh, pop insanity on the, the spears. I don't want them to just turn around and instantly shank down my one and only bone dragon. See? I told you. I called it. Game to a crash. Thank you. That is unfortunate. But. And he still went after the bloody dragon. Alright. Are you a combat summon? You are a combat summon. Cool. I think I'm going to go in here. And tail swipe. Yeah. Seems good to me. Up, 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 up. That had a nice rhythm to it. 
I have saved you. Spearman. Are you still insane? I don't think you are. I hope you're not insane. That would be very unfortunate. Because you're going to get to just turn around and swipe at my bloody healer. Wow, that was value city. Where's the fish? Oh, right, the fish is dead. The reason why I asked is because I was just going to mind control this, but here we are. Oh, this is a shock unit. I thought this was a, um, a spear boy. But no, it's just a dark knight without their horse. Okay. And then there was one... GG team. You know, for the Bone Dragon's first showing, it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. The Bone Dragon's got a pretty significant buff, actually. My poor Lightfish. Um, <laughs> can make another one. Uh -huh. The... It's gonna take two turns. I think I stay here, right? Because, um... I guess I should check if this is taken or not. Perfect. So this is the Void Stone. Uh, we need one of these in order to make immunity to malady, um, umbral malady. Uh, how much is it to... I need a, I need a crypt to resurrect. Um, how much is the crypt? Isn't it really cheap? It is, okay. Get those... Get those bodies pumping. Oh, I have free... Uh, building here. We'll just bump out that. And then what? <laughs> I don't know. For a place that's designed to be my research place, it's not very researchy, is it? I think we just wait for the Pirate Templar. Hmm, maybe not. Let's go Pursuer. Into Pursuer. Into Pursuer. Perfect. Alright, let's get this over with. In a moment, let me desecrate more structures. My soul economy isn't high enough. It's a good thing I can desecrate sheep, because I have loads of those. What is going on here? I'll leave you to it, Electric Countess. This is being taken. Here we are. I hope that wasn't my beloved governor. Because that would crash the uh, stability of one of my settlements. It probably was, though. Okay, let's try that again. Kind of unfortunate that um, this character has a blight weapon, but it is what it is. What am I going to do? Make another one? That would involve actually building stuff in my tower, which is proving itself to be incredibly difficult. Is there not a chaplain in this army? There sure isn't. I do have some souls if we want to pop this soul eater. I guess it depends what they... Okay, we're popping soul eater. Great. Or, um... Soul overflow, sorry. Oh. 
Perfect. Um, got the worm. Everyone loves a good worm. A good old caustic worm. Typically not seen outside of uh, the events. Okay, Brain, that is a dark... That's a spear boy. Okay. Well, good news, everyone. This is a button. It only affects enemies. Good news, everyone. I've created a plague that will destroy all life on Azeroth. The bad news is that this guy is absolutely fucked. The penguin does more damage based on people being isolated. You. Do I do this? What's the worst that could happen? Okay. That guy went insane. I like that. I dig that. Insanity? If only this guy turned around. Um... What's going on here? Hmm. Following the buffs, insanity is like giga good. Beautiful shots. So if I can inflict insanity, I am a pretty happy camper. I don't have too many ways of doing that. Eh, whatever. Too lazy to move. Definitely reassuring thing to hear your uh, your leader say. Nah, I'm too lazy. Is it him? Are you being spurred? Am I spurring a fucking skeleton? I don't know, team. I think I am. Yep. Okay. Spur that guy. Teleport in. Get owned by that dire caster. Go this way. Break defense and retaliation. And then shank to your undead heart's content. I think I... This is a dead fish. But I'll try it. Unfortunately, that act kind of ruined. Ooh. Okay. Oh, hey, we got the, um, the frail explosion thing. So this is going to sound strange. But I think it's actually in my benefit to not kill this. Because next turn, it dies. If it attacks, which I'm assuming it will. Or then. Uh-huh. And then the splitterlings won't all immediately attack me. That's the plan. That was a choice. It was a foolhardy plan. The splitterlings are attacking me immediately. Alrighty. We're in a very awkward spot. Hmm. Give it a shot. And you come in. Kill. Actually, I kind of want you to hit that. How do I position for that? Very carefully. Bloody penguin chicken thing. The Direcaster, make no mistake, is a foul demon. The foulest of demons. The greatest of evils. But sometimes... 
Sometimes you have to use evil to fight evil. You know? I really wish you had assassinate. Like, supremely wish you had assassinate. There's actually a thing about that in, um... Was it Code Geass? It was Code Geass. Which was, uh... It was a riddle Lelouch gave to... The guy. Was it the orange guy? I don't remember. But he was basically like, would you... Uh, would you condone evil? Why are these bi so big? Would you condone evil... Or use evil to destroy a greater evil? Or would you remain steadfast to righteousness? Even if it means evil should win. It was all like... That's a paradox, because in any case, evil remains. Which is true. I'm going to lose my tire at night. I'm going to lose my tire at night. You know what we need, like, immediately? Resurrect army. Well, I think it only affects faithful units. Which, again leads to our conundrum of missing a piece of the puzzle. By the way, the way that we would become faithful is through... Uh -huh. Oh, I thought that was a real unit for a second. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I think this is the last real unit. I don't know, there's so many on the screen. It was! What's it called? Um. Take some stabby boys. I can't remember. Keeper's touch. Right? Yeah, Keeper's Mark. I was close. Uh, this grants faithful to shield, polearms, shock, fighter, and skirmisher, and then we can use the Tome Cleansing Flame to grant faithful to support and battle mage units. What do I think? Don't they already have faithful? Oh, this doesn't grant faithful. I thought it did for some reason. Ah. We have faithful on support. Can you get faithful on battle mages? I don't think you can. Except through Angela's. Ah. Well, okay. I remember this map layout. One thing about the Umbral Abyss. Oh dear. I think I have to kill this. I think I can walk past it. What about the Umbro Abyss is that all of the islands are handmade. So they're both... I mean, they're handmade, which makes it easier to navigate. Like, they're designed to be navigate... Navigated without Umbro Flesh. Uh, but on the other hand, they kind of get old after a while. That is pretty good. And I have so much Imperium. Uh, we want the Teleportator Infrastructure, and we want Articune Artisans. We are going to want another Governance Expansion as well. Um, but I think we'll take the Stone. Now we have four Stones. Uh, adaptive research could actually be pretty good. And we're going to want Benevolent Conquerors eventually. We can benefit from tributaries. We'll grab career soldiers. Okay. That's enough for now. 
Or is it? We'll grab Master Masons too. That did actively refund us. That's nice. More Umbral Thralls. We're going to resurrect. Oh, wait. Can I just animate her? I can. Nice. And she is my beloved character. Of course she is. There's 80 souls to animate. She's already undead, I'm pretty sure. Heron has crossed you. Couldn't care less. In fact, I'm glad he's crossed you. I hope he crosses you more. <laughs> A war party? Oh no. I probably should try and investigate. Well, first of all, give out our stones. Make sure I'm not missing any of these... 19 mana for 42 draft? Yes, please. I don't know where it's going, but yes, please. Same thing with you. Nope, oh, nope. Take that back. Prices go for food, sure. Again, couldn't tell you where it's going. But it's going somewhere. This is really annoying. <laughs> Xenopolis is actually on the verge of collapse now. But thankfully... Um... Doesn't really matter. They have no provinces left that have not been pillaged. <laughs> cool. Alright, everyone's doing fine. This is an absolute disaster. How's Mordred doing? He's level 8, which isn't great. He still has the base items I gave him. So I guess he's not doing well, is the short and long of it. <laughs> oh yeah, no, he's not doing well. He is, uh, a struggle bussin', as we say in the industry. Was this released? I'm so confused. There's no more land provinces for them to pillage, so now they have to go pillage the water provinces. One day, I'll make that a, um... AC Ferris Guild. Until then... Oh, the flesh boy. This actually isn't a really scary army. It's kind of scary. Mm -hmm. But effectively, these units aren't all right. Are entirely useful. Like the abductor isn't abductor, right? But the flesh abomination is basically just a glorified beat stick. Uh, this thing is really annoying, but it should be okay. We should be fine. I can breathe on it. Worst case scenario. And I think that'll do it. The uh, Flow Serpent is the thing that becomes astrally refuged after you smack it. Which is super annoying. Uh, what are we healing? Although it sounds sacrilege, I don't think I need to heal Anubis. So let's keep our front line alive, shall we? There's a reason they're the front line. It would be pristinely beautiful if we could... Hmm. I really wanted a... Sure. I really wanted to pop off with like a a dragon spur to action play in order to show off my skills, you know? My big brain strats, but no. No fun is allowed. I'm just going to stand here. Come at me, bro. Come at me. Not like that, though.
Well, I know what spell I'm casting. I'm s impressed you're still alive. Well done, little archer. Be strengthened by the souls of our people. What am I supposed to do about this? Uh, once again, I think it's actually... Okay, we'll bless the dragon. You know what would be really funny? The dragon got abducted. Which is possible. Smack. Spur. Breathe. Smack. S to your commentary, I know. Hmm. I think I have to try and kill this abductor before it abducts. Yeah, swooping is bad. I'm really excited and simultaneously nervous. I'll do that. About uh, Dragon Age Veilguard. Because I'm... I have played every Dragon Age game. And while Origins is far and above the best, literally no questions asked, you know, two grew on me, Inquisition uh, pretty mid, but, you know, I played it still. I have to see how the story ends. Or continues, who knows if they're ending it. But I'm going into it with incredibly low expectations. Don't. Oh. Well, I lost an archer. Okay. Oh. You know, I'm usually pretty positive. I don't want to go into it being like, oh yeah, this game is going to suck ass. And just shit on it the whole time. But that's kind of also what I want to do. I should have done touch, but that's okay. How did you get... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well. I don't know why I thought of Dragon Age Veil Garden. Maybe because I'm staring at a dragon. Also, they chose Oct... They chose Halloween for the release date. Like, why? What could have possibly possessed you to think that was an appropriate release date? What about Dragon Age's Halloween? I don't know. You know what? I bet they don't know either. <laughs> they just thought that it would be a recognizable remembering... Remembering? Memorable words. Release date. That's it. That's all I think. I'm torn on whether to stream it or to do it in videos because if I do it in videos, I get to do some more editing, which uh, could be really funny. But if I do it stream, where you know we're shit talking live, and there's something special about that. Okay, the Asynchrous up next turn. I think this is blocking me. That is legitimately... It is not. Okay, great. In fact, we're going to go straight this way. I didn't even see that, because I am... Attentive. Okay. Impossible battle. Don't tell me what to do. The siege literally doesn't matter. Don't add siege projects. Right? Here, I'll just add this one. Perfect. Because what's going to happen is... I guess we can wait. What's going to happen is we siege this 
the stack here attacks, and then we kill that stack, and then we win. Ooh, soul collection. I need that. We have the chaplain. Yes, yes, yes. We have the pursuer. Yes, yes, yes. We desecrate. Yes, yes, yes. We just keep on... Oh, hold on. Share your faith in the light. Is that what he says? I think so. Alright, let's get our hero back, shall we? Oh, I technically didn't need to make that then. Hmm. Because we are animating you. Even though you don't need to be animated. How much is it to resurrect you? Sure. She was already undead, so... We don't need to animate her. I have a new army for you. There we go. Xenopolis restored. Kind of. Terran has crossed you. Fantastic. Let's go to war together. Wait, hold on. An alliance between Nuln and Camelot. A war between Mirazon and Mordred. A war between Mordred and Terran. Yes! A war between Terran and Nuln. Okay. A Whispering Stone has returned. Uh-oh. Huh. I kind of liked you guys. Rivalry between Rykoth and the Under Pope. That's complimented. Strength, Lord of the Sacred Lands. May the fields be flooded with the blood of your enemies. Went. You're a bit bloodthirsty, bud. You know what I can respect? Did he have a bone dragon? Oh, hold on. Flint. Ooh, crown of star blades. Hello, accuracy. How much you want for that? I'll take it. Flint. First of all, do you have a bow? No, of course you don't. You do, however, have Umbral Malady immunity. Thank you, bud. Yep. That's a bone dragon. Blinty boy is a bone dragon. So, the item... Oh. I thought it was a ring. Umbral Malady immunity. While this unit is the leader of an army, units gain Umbral Malady immunity. Now, this is worse than Umbral Flesh for two reasons. One, it doesn't give you bonuses. It just makes you immune. So we're immune. We now have our natural regeneration out in the world, which I think is like plus five. Possibly. I'm not sure how to check. Um, and there's no way that I'm aware of to apply this to your cities. Whereas if you have Umbral Flesh, any city of that culture would be affected. I think I'm going to start throwing my vassals at Terran. You know, if they're not dying. Just to see if they can provide me any relief at all. Very spooky. Terran himself is only level 6, though. Huh. Is this my girl? Is this the Elector Countess coming for blood? Probably not. Who this is? Wait, no. Where is she? I don't know where she is. My vassal is indeed under siege. It's going to take them three turns to break it, and I cannot go save them. Murazond? Did you take... Why do you have dragon? Why do you have uh, chaos breath? Murzond, I swear to the dark gods, if you do not take astral transformation, I will cut you. Speaking of cutting, there is something I want to try. Is it this one? So we're going to grab the two support fairies. I mean, tier three supports. Theoretically, it should be better than tier 2 supports. But one of the fairies... I'm going to actually point this out in the Shekzir playthrough. The 
There are two support fairies. One of them has the healing, and that's the one I've always used. The other one, though, has a buff that gives true strike, which makes it so that your next uh, ranged attack has a 100% accuracy. So the suggestion was to actually use the, I believe it's the Spring Fairy, to overcome the accuracy penalties that archers overwhelmingly face. Uh, great idea. We'll put it into action. I guess. Why not? I'm sorry, did I pick up Tormented Souls as a soul user and not get any? I wasn't paying any attention to that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, I think we go back home. I'm not sure where this goes. And I do want to know, but we are... You know... Dying. To put it lightly. I think this is all roaded, but I'm going to road it myself. Mm -hmm. I wonder where this goes. Hopefully not straight to my enemies. I also thought they would attack me. Hmm. Huh? Well, mistakes are made. I told you everything was on fire. We have the Pyre Shrine coming up soon. Soul Collection is in. Let's grab... I mean... Should I take the Necromancer? Probably. If I had taken Blessed Reinforcement earlier, maybe my vassals wouldn't be dying. I want Temple of Exalted. Do I lock it again for the 17th time? So this is a Sanctuary Outpost. The You cannot build in the Umbral Abyss. I'm sure someone will come up with a mod for that eventually. But you can make the Sanctuary Outposts on a... I don't remember what this is called. A little circle thing. And then you can expand twice. So we are going to grab this Void Stone so we can make our own Umbral Malady Immunity token. Which will allow us to explore the Umbral Abyss and wipe them out, which is the whole point of the series. And... I guess we have to grab this. Man, if we could go this way, that's 60 gold right there, but... We'll stay focused. This mount... Oh, man. This is 60 knowledge. Hmm. We'll have to change this eventually. But we'll grab this middle one here. Because the mountains prevent me from grabbing anything else. And this one. Because we need the uh, stone. Alright, we have Soul Collection up finally. We're going to continue desecrating our structures. We just need more souls. More, 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 more. Your heroes gain experience 200% faster. Pretty spicy. This is actually a really good talent. But, um... Yeah, we're not going to take it yet. Weapon Wet has withdrawn to the Astral Void. Blinty boy! My champion! My friends. Um, actually, this is going to make change my plan a little bit. We are going to take Dark Vigor, so we can regenerate an enemy territory. And I think... Hmm. I was going to say, I think we're going to go attack my traitorous brother next time, but we may have to defend Sinopolis. Depends what this hero does. Rival between Blint and Rykarth. Fantastic. We can integrate the city of Fold. Um, I don't think I want to. We want to try and keep our powerful vassals independent so they defend themselves. I am pleased to see that you have seen the true colors of my rival Rykoth. He deserves nothing more. I agree, Mr. Imperial Warlord. The Pope is on a blood path. One that we will see. The fruits of. Maybe Blint and I can actually team up on Whip While Wet. That'd be nice. This is a very nice city, too. Like, kill my brother. Take it over. For the worthy souls. But that and more will be for next time. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the purging of Umbral Demons. And that you're looking forward to more violence next time. 
Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you would like to stay up to the channel, feel free to join the description down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.